in Virginia. So? Well, pretty close. That's where we went last time. Well, yeah, a couple times ago. This time, where are we going? Washington. Washington, D.C. What are you going to see in Washington, D.C.? See ya. Are you excited? <laughs> the boys don't think they'll like museums, but they will love these museums. Promise. So we made it to the National Air and Space Museum. We're going to look around and see all the different space aircrafts, satellites, everything. Anything NASA, anything yeah. airplanes. It's going to be awesome. What's really cool about this spacecraft is that it's the very first one that was doing the space exploration. The first interplanet space exploration. Mariner 2. I'm going to touch a rock from the moon. What is that, Ty? Right there's the rock. My goodness. That's crazy. What do you think, Jake? Uh, That's it's huge. Yeah, they're really, really large. Uh, so this is all the engine. So the, peop the part that people sit in is just that little cone stack section right there. Oh. The rest of that is engine, the rest of that is engine. This is all engine. Whoa. Alright, this is the early space station. Look at that. You can see all the different parts inside. The Wright Brothers plane. Looks just like the airplane that we took to get here to Washington. Totally, right? just like it. <laughs> Made out of wood and cloth. <laughs> Wow, how would you that like would, to fly that one? That'd be crazy, like you're laying down and you have to like fly it. Cool. Yeah. That'd be kind of scary. That would be way crazy. Here's some really old planes, guys. Military aviation? Huh? Look at all these old planes. Familiar heart plane. Or a replica. <laughs> I don't know. In this plane. She set two of her aviation records, so it is her plane. It's not a replica, right? Look, a top view, they're flying. Suspended in space. Here's a, like a garden, that they, a test garden for up in space. And actually, astronauts do actually eat some of the garden, but it's mostly for, ta for uh, science, for to see what they can grow. But, interesting fact that I just learned is that astronauts' taste buds change when they're in space. It declines, so they like to have things a little bit spicier um, or hotter, a lot more seasoning to flavor their food because they don't taste it as well. I didn't know that your taste buds would change in space. How interesting. I wonder if a ghost pepper is hot in space. It might, it might taste like a bell pepper. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's crazy. That's a cool fact. I see the White House. It's clear off in the distance, really far, but it's we see it. You can't get to it now. You can't get any closer. A real White House? <laughs> <laughs> like it's really white compared to all the other buildings. I know that sounds so weird, but like it actually is. <laughs> it's white. It's like the White House. Pristine. Wow. We hiked to the Washington Monument, um, and they are actually going to be doing this uh, Apollo liftoff. Apollo 11 lift off on the screen by the Washington Monument, but we went the to the wrong side because, the yeah, on the no monument. The well, monument. I guess, yeah, projected onto the monument. Anyway, we went to the wrong side, so now we got to backtrack and go back the other way. And if you can't tell, it's very hot day, very hot day. Like so we're dying today, but we're making it. It's actually starting to cool down now that it's nighttime. It's 98 degrees. We're excited. We hear that about 10,000 of our best friends are over there waiting for us, saving us a spot. Let's go do it. So let's go check it out. Look at that, guys. It's projected on the space shuttle. What? This looks so. I mean, the sorry, the Apollo 11 rocket is projected on the Washington Monument.
is another hot day and our day is just in beginning. Washington. It's like it's like 12.30 to 1 in the afternoon and we're just getting started. It's very hot. It's so hot. So we are headed now to try and find a museum to go check out. Hopefully the lines are not as bad as they were yesterday because that was crazy. We're gonna go find a museum. Whichever one's the first one on the right. And whichever one we can get into, that's what we're doing. So we're headed down to the National Mall, which is not a shopping mall, but it's just a, a like, lawn. Grass. <laughs> I literally thought it was gonna be a mall. Like my parents, they like they were just like, oh, we're gonna go to the National Mall. And I was like, oh, cool. Maybe after like we can stop at some stores and everything. We show up. It's literally just a yard. Like it's just a bunch of like grass everywhere. <laughs> so thoroughly disappointed with that, but that's besides the point. <laughs> There's no shopping. No shopping at all. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go find a museum and pop in. Alrighty, we finished going into the National Archives first museum. museum. And that was really cool because we got to see the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights for the very first time. None of us had been there. It was like right there. It was crazy. It was pretty cool. The boys even enjoyed the museum. They didn't think they would, but they did. They loved it. Now we're headed into the National Natural History Museum. Wow, that's a mouthful. Let's go check out this one. This is fun. The boys have been to one like this several times before. We're looking at the sea life. This is like one of my favorites, I think, so far because, I mean, we just barely got here. But I like the ocean stuff. I feel like it's there's so much to learn about it. It's so and interesting to me. To explore that yeah. haven't explored ever before. So like, I don't know. I like looking at this stuff. <laughs> Ew, it's a little preserved shark bow. Baby. <laughs> this is one of my favorite animals in skeleton form. Whoa! Uh, just pay no mind to that. <laughs> Here is a germaphobe's nightmare. Ew. We have cholera up there, HIV, bubonic plague, smallpox, influenza zero zero, and the dysentery. Ooh. It's Australia. Come here. Let's go to Australia. Man, I've always wanted to go to Australia. I almost made it. <laughs> what do you think? Right? I didn't want to go to Australia. Look at the cute little slug. Aww. Guys, I spotted another one of my favorite animals. Right up there. Okay, that makes two of my favorite animals that I've seen here. Ty, have you seen any of yours? I have one more favorite animal to see and I should have seen it, but I didn't already. Kangaroos! So pretty. Have you seen a real life kangaroo? Yeah, you have. You went in the... Didn't they go in the wallabies and feed them and the kangaroos? At a zoo? You guys went in and fed them. I don't remember it. What? My favorite animal. He's so cute. Where are we? We are an African safari. We're in Africa. This is like the animals you saw in the wild. We saw yes. every one of these. These, these, what? yeah, these were everywhere. The Impala. That's awesome. And they saw zebras and the giraffe. Yeah, they're everywhere. Did you see a lion? That's the one Audrey wanted to see. We saw the head of a female lion. And it was like, I only saw movement. I never actually saw the full-on lion, but like I saw movement and they said it was a lion. And like some people actually saw it full-on, but like I only saw like a movement in the brush because they blend in so good. It's insane. What is that? It's a serval. Serval. We did not see that. But we did see <laughs> that. I think they called it something different, but we saw the one with the big horn like that. Huh. Wow, and then they saw the giraffe, which is Jake's favorite animal. Jake, is the giraffe still your favorite? Yes. He likes the giraffe. There's two giraffes in the year. He's the king yeah. of the beast. That's Audrey's favorite animal. That's pretty cool. So Audrey and Jake's favorite animals come from Africa. What? They saw a hippo, a giraffe, <laughs> Look at that elephant. We're seeing the Hope Diamond. Oh, that's it. 
We're looking at the gems, the quartz, the rocks, huh? Mm -hmm. We just saw the Hope Diamond. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. That was cool. Look at all these rocks though. What? I want to go out and find these. How cool would that be if you found something like these? Awesome, but it's going to be very hard. It would be very hard. Look at all the minerals. Mesolite. That's cool looking, right? About, but it's not. I mean, wow. You know. Look at the pretty gems. Those are so cool. Oh yeah. Oh, we made it to the Lincoln Memorial. We finally made it even though we are so sweaty and so tired. We were trying to find some um, Uber scooters, but it was really hard to find some that had enough mileage at the end of the day on it. We're all very sweaty. My legs are so sweaty, I can't do this. Oh, I know. Well, I'm pretty sure they're exhausted. But you guys made it. We're here, Lincoln Memorial. What do you think, David? Are you dying like me? Feet of dripping down? <laughs> it's not that it's bad. It's humid, it's hot. No, it's not that bad. Whatever. I'm shiny. Am I shiny? I'm A bit. shiny. Oh, yeah, but we did it. We did it. Yeah. Woo. Thank you. No, sure. Jake thinks I'm a scary driver. You're a scary driver? I'm not scary, I'm good. <laughs> I got this under control. <laughs> I don't know. I think Katie probably is kind of a scary driver. Her balance? Uh, we'll see. Here comes Jordan and Ty. <laughs> okay, Jordan and Ty are on a scooter. Mom and Jacob got on a scooter and I don't have a scooter. So I'm gonna enjoy Washington. I guess you could call it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna walk. Hey! <laughs> but see, walking, I get to enjoy the sights. There's the World War II Memorial over there. There's the Washington Monument there. There's a big white building over there. And there's a really famous one right through there. Comment down below if you know what famous white monument <laughs> is right over there. Alrighty guys, we are on to another day. This day we actually got an early start. Surprise, surprise. Because we're headed off to Ford's Theater first. Super excited. Ty, are you excited? I'm hot right now. And it's actually not that hot out yet, but Jordan's <laughs> Ty's app was asking if there's gonna be popcorn at Ford, Ford Theater. And uh, Jordan's like, no, in Washington DC, everything's a lie. A theater isn't a theater, a mall isn't a mall. <laughs> Let's go check out this theater. I think you're going in Ford Theater.
Okay, so we just got finished uh, touring the Ford's Theater and now we're looking at the Peterson House, which was a boarding house and it was where President Lincoln was taken after he was shot. This is where he died. During the presentation while we were sitting down in the theater, I took a little snooze. You were tired. <laughs> I was so tired. But. All books about Lincoln? Oh wow, it goes all the way down. There's a lot of books written about Lincoln. Wow. Mm. That's a lot of books. Alrighty, so we just got done touring all of the Abraham Lincoln, the place where he um, passed away, the house he died in, and the theater. Now we're headed to the National American History Museum. And what did you guys think of the tour of Abraham Lincoln's, the Ford Theater? It was interesting to see. I mean, it's, the theater was much smaller than I thought it would be, but the story was very interesting on how it all kind of came together. It was, I, but I, from my understanding, it looks very different than it did back in the day, because it's been remodeled. I mean, it was t kind of torn apart to use his office space and then remodeled, and they didn't have like the typical theater seating. They had folding chairs back in the day. So I imagine it looked very different than it does now. But it was a sombering story. Sad to think that someone thought that their way was the right way to kill the president. That's crazy. We're gonna go through this woodland garden real fast that we just found. Woo, looky, this is cool. Going through, going through. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, look how pretty over here. <clears throat> this is a pretty garden. Look at all the peppers. Wow, oh, there's peppers everywhere. I love it. Tomatoes. They got the grapevines or is that a grapevine? Looks kind of like one. There's tomatoes. Ooh, they're ripening. Very cool. Peppers. The cabbages. This looks so pretty. I love it. Are you ready for Instagram picture time? Let's do it. What better place to take photos than in a garden? Gardens are the best. It's a victory garden. I literally learned about victory gardens in my history class yeah, and we right had to grow school. one. Yeah, we had to grow one as one of our assignments. And look. Here we are, Victory Garden. <clears throat> so Jordan, what is a Victory Garden? What does that mean? It was like when they were in the war and stuff and food rations were low, or yeah, they were, they didn't get much for food. They would grow their own gardens, like so that way they would have food to eat and it was like called Victory Gardens. You could have a garden and still have it look beautiful. Like it doesn't so have cool. to be a standard square by square rectangle garden. Look how pretty this is. I love this. Very cool, very cool. All well, the lettuce. Guys, whose car is that? Trivia question, whose vehicle? All right, into our place. Okay, that looks cool. Yeah, it's moving. Oops. Have you got a magic book, Jake? Yes, yes I do. Sibling page. Oh. <laughs> Ty, what are you doing? Oh, are you guys trying to change color? <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
This is Thomas Edison's little monster. Little dolls that talked. Let's go in the vault, Ty. Ooh, coins. Yeah. There's a hundred thousand dollars right there. What? That's cool. All hands on deck. Bring her down. Come on, boy. Get back to work. Sorry. We're looking at all the travel stuff in the museum. And Julia Child's kitchen, as she left it when she turned it over to the Smithsonian. Everything's in its place just like she, how she left it. Wow. That's what her kitchen looked like. My old boss, Jimmy Davis, Nat King Cole. Okay, so we're currently in the African American History Museum, which is pretty neat to see all the accomplishments that of the people that have taken place, all their all their items here. Whitney Houston. Wow. Wow. Is that from the 60s or 70s? I'm going to assume. By the looks of it, I'd say. Look at the springs in the shoes. Fancy hammer! I, mean, I can't remember what's the name of those pants. They were called, uh, why did I lose it? Uh, I can't remember either. No Okay, so we made it back to the hotel. We actually ended up going to the Holocaust Museum, which I didn't film. But we also were able to meet two Holocaust survivors and hear their stories, which was really interesting and very sombering. Um, we made it back to our hotel room, but I wanted to show off our hotel here at the Willard, which is a really nice hotel. And it has a lot of history as well here in Washington, D.C. A lot of government things have happened here. We're going to start with bathroom because I choose the potty, but I'm going to oh, let wow. you guys see what it looks like first. <laughs> We've been in here a few days, so some of our stuff's in here. <laughs> Dad chilling. <laughs> we got a bed. Culture and events and places. Yes. Very good. Ty has been sick our entire time here, and Jake has been coughing nonstop non all night. So at night we're serenaded with the boys and me coughing and hacking all in one room. We don't get much sleep while here. Oh, and when Ty was asleep, he coughs more. We all cough a lot. But Ty has had a flu and fever and throwing up, so he's been really a good trooper to walk around in this heat with a fever. Alrighty, so the first thing we did this morning was see the Spy Museum, the International Spy Museum, which was super cool, but we couldn't film in it at all because um, it's very interactive and they don't, I guess they don't want anybody to ruin the fun stuff. But it was- Top secret, it's full of spies. <laughs> yeah, but it was super fun. We're all given a spy character. And there's a lot of little games you can do in it and a lot of interesting spy facts. We learned a lot about espionage. Spies could be anyone, anywhere, around you. It's I crazy. I got good marks. I got two medals. I failed because I only did one of the activities and then stopped because I was reading all the facts. Anyway, we are now here at George Washington's house in Mount Vernon and we just toured it behind us. 
but we couldn't film in there either. Very beautiful house. Um, I think he grew up there, his, it was his father's house, and then he added the expansions on each side of the house and made it larger and entertained like over 600 people during his time there. And we're also- In one year. In one year, wow. We're also out by the Potomac River, very beautiful. <laughs> and I think we're gonna look around the property here at Mount Vernon and see some of the other buildings. So fun fact, back in 1780s and 1790s, when he finished his house, they put the, I can't remember what they called it, but it's like that spire on the, the top. The basil. What was it called? I think they called it a basil. Basil. Do you know what that's used for? Very interesting, I didn't know. I think the basil is the whole entire top thing. But the very, very spike on the top? No, no, the, where the windows are, the whole thing. The That's a bastille. But the very, are you talking about the very spike on the top? The very tippy top spike? You're saying what is that? No, I'm talking about it was used for air conditioning. So you oh, would yeah, the yeah, top yeah. windows and it would air condition the house. I don't know what the very top. I think the very top spike thing is a lightning rod because we had that on my house growing up. I don't know. It was supposed to help with lightning strikes. This is the clerk's office, the clerk's quarters, here at Mount Vernon, George Washington. Ah, oh, the smokehouse. Anybody want some roast beef? Can you imagine, it, like, that place smelled good, right? If it was smoking? <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> Here's the gardens. George Washington's house in Mount Vernon. I'm not sure if it looked like this back in the day, but that's what it looks like now. Oh, George Washington was just so aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> he just knew. And he's like, or he's got like the best house for- Workers knew. This yeah, he's awesome got like dude. the best house for like pictures. Like this is so good. There's peas, there's <laughs> carrots, there's beets, there's Swiss chard. I just wonder if it was like this back then. I don't know. That's a big garden though. This is like, this, someday I'm gonna have a garden like this. That's it, we're doing this. Look at all the little tiny dwarf fruit trees. They got laid out brick. It's pretty. If you feel free to ask staff to answer any questions you might ask. Just please don't touch. George Washington on the right. And his wife's on the left. So he was saying there at the tomb where George Washington and his wife were buried are 30 total family members also buried there, counting him and his wife. So that's kind of cool though, because that's how I would want to be, like on your own it's private crazy. plot, right? It's crazy like how you can still like see their graves. Yeah, they're family. really old, huh? Know, and it's pre preserved preserve very well. It's not like it's like worn yeah, out and worn what, down. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like it's new looking. Yeah. This is pretty grounds. This is like, this would be a great place to be buried. It's beautiful here. Okay, so here is the female servant quarters. And I have to say, it is quite warm in here with only a couple small windows. I imagine you get a little circulation. But you probably also got mosquitoes. You probably weren't here much of the day though. That's true. Very warm in this bunkhouse. Okay. Uh, the shoemaker shop. Don't see too many of these nowadays. Okay, here is the men's bunkhouse and I have to say it stinks. It's smelly in the men's bunkhouse. Found another garden. Look how pretty this garden is. I love these gardens. All right, guys, we're back home now. It, that was such a fun trip going to Washington, D.C., being able to go see all the different sites, being able to just take in a lot of the history of our great nation. And so, we want to thank you guys for watching this video and if you've ever been to Washington DC, what are some of the things that you did that you enjoyed watching? So till next time, we'll see you later. Bye!